Hey everybody, welcome back. I am here at Zerover restaurant in the southeastern part of uh, Aruba in Savaneta. And this place is super popular and it's well known for its amazing fresh fish and shrimp. So let's go inside and check it out. few pieces of uh, with mahi mahi which is this one and also some wahoo uh, and then they also have uh, some really nice shrimp today oh look at that <laughs> nice big fat shrimp here maybe some hot pepper it's a little spicy the onions it's a lot spicy the onions it's more, that's spicier than just onion that's not that's onion and hot sauce and vinegar. Wow. Mm. that shrimp. I'm going to eat this shrimp head on, tail on, everything on. And the perfect accompaniment is uh, Aruba's Hot Delight Gourmet Hot Sauce featuring papaya. And this is called the Mild. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think it gets better with the papaya hot sauce. Mm. I like the mahi mahi better. I think it just has a better flavor. All right, we are back from Zerovers, and uh, I just wanted to wrap things up with giving you a few points that will help make your first visit to Zerovers even better. Point number one, rent a car. You can't get there any other way unless you pay for a taxi both ways, and it's going to be probably $30 or even $50 each direction, so rent a car. Point number two is the ordering system there. It's a little confusing. And the first thing you'll see is just a line of people just standing there. And that's, that's where you order your food. So there's this first window and you, you wait in line, you get to the front of the window and there's two options you can do to order. You can either just tell them how many people are in your party and what you want. So they'll ask you what sides you want, what fish you want. They'll just say enough for four people. Their math basically means one portion per person is about 250 grams. So when you order enough for four people, you're getting a kilogram of fish or shrimp. Okay, just be aware. Point number three, after you've ordered your food, you still have to order your drinks. And that's not at the same place. You have to go around the corner to another window to place your drink order. And you're gonna wanna drink because that brings us to point number four? <laughs> I, can't, I lost track. Point number four is be prepared to wait. We arrived at about 3 p.m. I stood in line until 3 50 p.m. That's 5-0 before I could place my order. And then once the order was placed, our food did not arrive at the table until 4.30, a full hour and a half after we arrived at the restaurant in the middle of the afternoon, not during the lunch rush, not during the dinner rush. Middle of the afternoon I thought was a safe time to go with the least amount of wait, but the place is just popular and it's been increasingly busier every time I go. You gotta set aside a few hours 
not just the trip down, which takes a good half hour just to get there from the resort area, but uh, the hour and a half wait just to get your food. Plus you gotta eat leisurely, you don't wanna rush. So you're gonna spend a good amount of time. If you're committed to go to zero over, plan it for the whole day, and then maybe you'll feel like it, it, it didn't take as long as it did. Let me tell you, if you go with a party that has a picky eater that doesn't like seafood, they're out of luck. If you go in with, a, with someone in your party that doesn't like fried food, you're out of luck. There's only one method of cooking there. It's fried. If that doesn't interest you, then you know what? You can always just have beer and onions. Who knows? That might be for you. Hey, go ahead. Let me know in the comments how it was. <laughs> if you've never gone to Zero Over, you have to go. It's a very uniquely Aruban experience. You're not gonna have an experience like this anywhere else. The, the fish is delivered directly by boat from the fishermen that caught it. They will actually come right up to the dock and start unloading their fish right in the restaurant and start cleaning it right there on the dock. So you know you're getting the freshest seafood you can get anywhere. It's brought in by the very men that caught that fish. It's cooked minutes after it was brought in and it can't be any fresher than that. Get a nice table, look out over the beautiful waterfront location, sip your balashi, and another one, and another one, and another one, and eventually the food will get there, and you'll love it. If you've never gone, yeah, you should go. It's fun. And if you do go after watching this video, let us know what you think in the comments. All right? <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.